Good morning, my darlings. It is Sunday and it is a festive day here in the Cotswolds. We are going to be doing, finally, <laughs> I have been promising this video for so long, we are finally going to be doing our big Christmas decoration declutter. I say that because we have a lot of Christmas decorations that we bought with us from our old house and there's some that probably just don't suit the style of our new house, our new old house. So first of all, we're gonna be doing a bit of a Christmas decoration declutter, tidy up, um, and then planning really. We're gonna be planning where we're gonna be putting various trees throughout the house, garlands, things like that. Hopefully by the end of today, the drawing room at least should have had its total festive <laughs> makeover. As you can tell, we've got two very needy boys this morning, so I'm gonna have lots of help along the way. Yesterday, I started to prepare the recipe for my cinnamon rolls. I was gonna do the whole thing yesterday, but time got away from me, so I'm gonna start the day with a cinnamon latte and some freshly baked cinnamon rolls. First of all, I need to roll them out, let the dough rise a little bit more, pop them in the oven, and then mm, the whole house will smell so amazingly festive. I've also got a few festive candles that I'm gonna light to really get into the spirit. I should probably put on a festive jumper, shouldn't I? Because pink leopard print is not terribly Christmassy. Without further ado, let's head into the kitchen and pop in our cinnamon rolls. <laughs> So these are the ingredients for the carrot cake cinnamon buns. It is a Thermomix recipe, but I think it could easily be adapted, so I will leave it linked down below. It's from a blog called Sophia's Kitchen. So we need sugar, whole milk, yeast, Greek-style natural yogurt, baking powder and egg, flour, and unsalted butter. That's the only ingredient I don't have, so I'm gonna take a little bit of normal butter and um, some of this as well, which is not ideal, but never mind. Okay, so the milk, the yeast, and the sugar are warming for two minutes, very precisely at 37 degrees. This is to activate the yeast. So this is where the thumb mix comes in really handy because I'm gonna use the kneading function, where is it, dough, for two minutes. If you don't have a thumb mix, basically just knead your flour, um, knead it for two minutes. You'll be able to just follow the recipe. But while this does its magic, I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying away. Okay, our next instruction is to transfer to a large bowl, and we've gotta leave this for one hour until the dough has risen. So up next is the filling. It's not a healthy one. We have got brown sugar, butter, allspice, nutmeg, and ground cinnamon, as well as some chopped carrots. All of these are gonna get combined to make the most delicious filling for the cinnamon rolls. Alrighty, so Blue Peter style, here is some I prepared earlier. This is the dough, which I made yesterday, obviously now very much fully risen, and the carrot cake cinnamon mixture, which, oh my goodness, smells incredible. I could literally eat this entire bowl right now. And a baking tray lined with baking paper. So what we've got to do is roll this out until it's a rectangle about one and a half centimeter thickness, paste this all over it, aside from a centimeter border, roll it up, chop it up, bake it, and, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. My mouth is watering in anticipation already.
at this point the buns just look really really messy but they always look like this i think because the dough is so soft it's really hard to cut them into circles because obviously when you're cutting it just squidges it down so you kind of have to reshape them and the carrot cake filling just goes absolutely everywhere but i know that they will rise and you know perfectify in the oven so i'm going to pop them in the top right argo which is around 200 degrees for about 20 minutes oh. how I wish you guys could smell this. I can barely talk because my mouth is watering so much. Oh my gosh. So these were in the Arga for 20 minutes and they are perfectly cooked. As you can see, they have all puffed out. I don't actually think I can talk. I'm so desperate to eat these. I'm gonna leave these for about five, 10 minutes as long as I can bear. Make myself a cinnamon latte while I wait for them to cool down a little bit. And then, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tuck in. Okay, so I've just popped a load of icing sugar on top of the cinnamon buns and this was the little ball that I made up of leftover dough. I've whacked it in the bowl that I had the icing sugar in and this is basically gonna be my first taste of heaven. It's like those little Cinnabon bites you can get. Is it Auntie Annie's? I don't know, but whenever I go to America, that is the first thing that I treat myself to. to go up and put my Christmas jumper on for the Christmas Christmas chores this afternoon. This is my favorite Christmas jumper. It is from River Island last year. I just love that it's got little pearls, snowflake design. If anyone from River Island is watching, you have to bring this out in a pink shade as well. Oh my goodness, that would just be festive perfection. I'll try and find something similar and leave it linked below, but... Yeah, this one really is wonderful. So I'm in the drawing room and the first thing to do is go through our old Christmas decorations. We've got quite a lot in um, some Tupperware behind me and pull out any which just don't really work here in the new house. If you have not tuned in to previous vlogs, let me fill you in on the situation here. So this is our new tree from Balsam Hill. Dexy, you've got to stop sneaking in here. You're not allowed in here, little boy. Well, I guess seeing as mummy's in here, you'll be allowed today. Come on then. Um, I need to separate out all the twiglets and things like that. This was our temporary tree for the Christmas photo shoots that we did a couple of weeks ago. And the rest of the room is just a bit of a festive mess. So some old decorations over there, which I need to sort through and some old decorations over here. So I think the first thing that I need to do is find a box that can be our charity shop box and start pulling out things which just don't quite work with the vibe of this house. Come on then, Dexy. You come and help your mommy. Come on.
these are some of the Christmas decorations that I have got out that we are going to give to charity. I think they're just ones which don't quite go with the new house. So we've had this polar bear for such a long time and it is really lovely. Um, maybe I'll actually see if mum wants that one because it is very sweet. These big snowflakes, they look great as an outdoor thing, but yeah, I'm just not too sure they go with the vibe of the house. I think we're going to be going for slightly warmer tones. So these silver Santas, I wish they were gold, um, but yeah, I think they will be moved on to another home and then we I had to be quite brutal with our stockings because most of our chimneys don't actually have or most of our fireplaces rather don't actually have mantles so you don't have that many places to hang stockings so I've also popped these mantle clips and loads of gift bags like this sparkly one in the bag so I'm gonna box all of this up to clear space to then move this tree out into the hallway and move this one into its permanent position. I've just spent the last 20 minutes sat here with my phone on a tripod trying to get the start of a reel, you know, when you like kick your shoe up in the air and then when the shoe lands back on your foot, it's a different setting. I thought I would try doing that with the Christmas tree, but oh my goodness, it makes you appreciate good reels. Like when you see good reels, when you try and do it yourself, it makes you appreciate how much time and effort goes into a reel. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where these girls and guys get the time in the day. But anyway, now that I have got the intro clip to that reel, I'm gonna try moving this bad boy. Wow, I might have to go and call Charlie. Maybe I will dust out the feathers, make it um, the right shape, and then when Charlie comes in from sorting out the garage, we will move it into its spot. Oh dear, I don't know if you guys will have just seen that, um, but I was undoing the prongs on the Christmas tree, set this camera up on a tripod and it fell back on the sofa. Is this wonky? Yeah. Um, yeah, it fell back, landed on the lens and it is now broken. So I'm now on my super old camera, which, yeah. That is the screen, that is the screen hanging down there. I have to actually hold it in place. So it looks like we are gonna be, sorry, I've got YouTube playing in the background, Joe Biden's, um, Barack Obama and Joe Biden's speeches. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to buy like my eighth Canon G7X Mark II. Obviously we can't go through the next few weeks without a vlogging camera, so that's 500 pounds that I was not expecting to spend. Hopefully John Lewis will be able to repair that one that I just broke. And then when I get the new one back, and then when I do get my new one, I'll send this one off to Amazon. I meant to do it ages ago, so they can repair this one, and then at least I will have a couple of backup options. But anyway, let's get back to feathering out the tree. amazing in this corner and I've got Nigel and Nigella in their spots as well. I have a little bit of Christmas, not really unboxing, but well kind of a little mini Christmas decoration haul. Um, these bits are pieces which I ordered from Amara which is a home website. We have uh, a fire utensil kit from them and I have quite a few bits from their website on my wish list but these are the Christmas decorations that I chose. Firstly, I think this was from Gisela Graham. It is a tree topper. We do have tree toppers, but we definitely needed more this year and I wanted to get a really big straight statement one. So it's kind of silvery gold. Can't really tell if it's silver or gold. It's some really beautiful embellishment on it. So that will be perfect for the top of the tree. Not tree related, but these are wine, oh found part of an antler. 
that's concerning. These are little wine glass charms. So when you have your wine or your champagne on Christmas day, you can pop these around the base of your wine glass. They are so, so, so pretty. Um, obviously just remember your color. Obviously then you just have to remember your color. This one is a beautiful amber shade. There's blue, there's pink, there's clear. <laughs> Yeah, some of these are really, really similar looking. So after a couple of glasses of champagne, I'm sure the glasses are still going to get muddled up, but that will definitely help out. Um, okay, they had a really good selection. Oh, let's see Amla again. I'm going to have to get the super glue out. Of baubles, European handmade glass Christmas decorations. So this is a box of six. It's being very reflective on the camera. It always surprises me how expensive baubles are, and they're really, really fragile. So you have to be so careful with these. So these ones are lovely, real. I'm trying to cover my face so it actually focuses on the bauble, real glass with this beautiful glitter embellishment on them. So I've got it in white. This is a kind of rose goldy one. We definitely like to go for more traditional colors like quite warm colors on the tree and then this one is more of a pewter so we've got six in that box six more in this box here these are more traditional gold with this lovely little design on them just like this very classic kind of swirly design and then another box it's just so much easier to buy box sets because then lots more of your baubles match um and it does work out a little bit more affordable than buying loads of singular ones so this is three six nine twelve of a really nice classic design these have just got um little are they gems yeah like little gold gems and quite a traditional design on there so we've got 12 of those oh these are gorgeous we've got a few more pinky ones in here three six nine twelve again more of a kind of frosted pink theme but i think they'll still go really nicely on the traditional tree so these are i don't know what you would call that kind of shape almost like a little droplet these look like they're made out of that kind of paper pattern really really lovely with the gold glitter i've just hoovered in here but i'm gonna have to hoover again <laughs> after getting all of these out really really beautiful shapes and colors and then i chose some of these gorgeous reindeers but sadly we have had a bit of a catastrophe with lots of the antlers falling off so i'm going to have to get my super glue out because look how spectacular that will be when he is glued back together which way around is it that way around yeah, so I've got lots of little reindeer pieces. Unfortunately, most of them are broken. But instead of the faff of returning them, I will just get my super glue out. And I have a few more bits over here. So this is this is a trend that I've been noticing throughout Christmas decorations. Is this? It's called the Jinko leaf, and I just loved this wreath. Not sure where it's going to go, but a really beautiful gold wreath made up of the Jinko leaves. Um, and then I <laughs> couldn't resist this little guy. It's from a brand called Kurtz Adler, and it is of course a little reindeer dachshund. Absolutely could not resist that. A few differently designed reindeers these are from gisella graham i'm not sure if the other ones were gisella graham but look how beautiful this one is that is just so so gorgeous this one is a leaping reindeer look how beautiful this guy is i also got some reindeers from kurtz adler brand so half of them are gisella graham half of them are kurtz adler and this is another sparkly reindeer and these all seem to have their antlers intact so we've got three sparkly reindeer and then these are also from Gisella Graham and they are little um horses but they're like chess piece horses so these came in a set of two and I think that's everything I got from Amara um but then I did also get another of the big box sets from Balsam Hill and that contained some quite striking decorations like these really big what would you call them like droplet designs this kind of inverted bauble i've seen quite a lot that kind of style <laughs> goodness me a very bling droplet this one has got a kind of diamante detail around the middle there but from afar it really catches the light that is very effective and these are really nice big ones because it's quite a big tree i think we needed a few of these more statement baubles 
that's rather spectacular. It almost looks like an upside down, you know, those little midget gems, those iced sweeties. This looks like a giant sparkly version of that. A giant sparkly bell, that's rather effective. Annoyingly, they put made in China stickers on every single one of these, so it's gonna be a real pain in the bum. Uh, luckily they just, to get rid of them all. Why do they do that? That is just such a waste of resources and very, very annoying. Oh. So the tree's up, we have just had a Sunday roast, so feeling very, very full. I think we're gonna do the decorating tomorrow, so instead I'm just spending a little bit of time with my Christmas recipe books. I'm gonna bookmark a few things and just start thinking ahead about some recipes that would be lovely to cook over the Christmas period. So this is the Thermomix book. Obviously you need to have a Thermomix for these recipes. But then this one is Jamie Oliver's Christmas cookbook. And there are so many amazing recipes in here. From the side dishes to some vegan versions. Oh, makes my mouth water. I thought I would also quickly show you this lovely festive delivery which arrived from OPI. It is a selection of their latest nail varnishes and even some crystals, Swarovski crystals, which is gonna be so lovely. I think I might do like a kind of ombre with this beautiful gold over the brown that I've currently got on with some crystals at the top. I think that would look so, so nice. Um, oh my gosh. There are so many, <laughs> literally a wreath filled with nail varnishes. This is the most gorgeous festive gift. And I think I might even use this as like a little table centerpiece with a candle inside. Very lovely gift. Thank you very much to OPI. Hello again, darlings. It is now the next day. We are back on the Christmas decorating mission. And luckily I have just received my second Amara delivery this morning. So it is a selection of new baubles and they look like this. They are the most beautiful little hanging charms with this gorgeous bow up at the top. Again, unnecessary labels and I have to say there is a lot of plastic being used in the packaging of these Christmas decorations. That is the one downside, I guess, of ordering them online. There is a lot of plastic, but the decorations are beautiful. So I think we have reached that exciting time. I am now going to start decorating the tree. I think Charlie will come and help me when he's finished doing a little bit more work, but I have come to that time of day when my concentration levels are just so I've come to start decorating the tree. It's only half past three, but it is super dark outside. So my motivation has gone. So as always, what I like to do is start with the bigger decorations. So anything that's really striking, um, like these bells, the big statement round baubles, I will evenly spread those out across the tree um, and then start to fill in the gaps with the smaller decorations. darlings I think you will agree the tree looks absolutely gosh why is that light on my face the tree looks absolutely amazing I am so 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 happy with how this looks I will do a little close-up for you in a second the only thing that has not been a success is my tree topper so this is the Gisela Graham big star that I got for the top of the tree and as you just saw it just doesn't balance it just makes the top of the tree flop one way or the other so hmm, not too sure what to do about that I might when we next have builders over see if they can recommend any kind of construction like DIY edit that we can do to this but I'm not gonna lie I probably have a thumbnail <laughs> screenshot out of that trial and error that I just experienced but yes, the tree just looks so magical. I don't know if it's missing a little something, like do I need to put some bows in there? Just something to add a little bit more texture because it's very much tree and bauble at the moment. We used to put tinsel in our trees, but I just 
I don't know, I, I don't really like how tinsel is just kind of a little bit, dare I say it, tacky, not sure, but um, yeah, maybe I need to add some big gold bows. Let me know what you guys think, but let me give you a little close up. So as always, I try to put the decorations, I try and space them quite far apart. So if I've got a reindeer down here, then I'll try and space it out. So there's a reindeer over here, reindeer over here, reindeer over here. So they're all nicely spaced. I try and be quite considerate of different size baubles so and different shapes. So we've got long ones next to round ones next to bells. And another tip I would say is just making sure that you push them onto the twiglet or the branch far enough. So you can see I've popped the reindeer a good three inches down the branch and to be honest it could go a little bit further. I think it just looks better when your decorations are deep within the tree and then obviously it's less likely that they're going to fall off. I am so pleased that this tree is a pre-lit tree because let's be honest the worst part about putting your tree up and taking your tree down is the lights and then you've got the whole faff of making sure they're evenly spread out but this, to me I mean I've always been quite snobby against um, fake trees like we've always had a real one and this tree has actually converted me I genuinely think it looks better than a real tree it really does and that light the situation with the lights is what has definitely cinched it for me I'm really glad that we I'm really glad that I have invested in some lovely baubles this year. I mean, it is, it's painful how expensive baubles are, but I knew that this year would obviously be the most expensive year with it being our first in a bigger house. Lots of, lots more trees and lots bigger trees to decorate, but I've bit the bullet and invested in some lovely decorations and I think that they do look beautiful. So this is, as you can see, the kind of gold fairly traditional tree we will put a real tree in our family room and that will have more of our personal decorations on it so i don't know if other families do this but we have quite a few really like treasured baubles and maybe they were given to us on our engagement or maybe i don't know they have a special date on them so that will be in the family room whereas this is more of the kind of show tree and oh, i don't like it when you can see too much ribbon i'll try and hide bits like that but yeah, I am super duper trooper pleased with how this looks. Um, yeah, I need to do a little bit of DIY. For the star, it's a real shame that that doesn't go on the top. Maybe I need something a little bit less heavy. Maybe that, that is the problem with artificial trees, that they just don't quite have that structure at the top. Because I think this, the top is letting it down a little bit. I also need to find some slightly smaller baubles to put at the top. So my next task, um, what I'm actually going to do is get my garland out. This is my garland. I also ordered this from Balsam Hill. This is a battery powered garland. Ah, I need to buy some batteries. And I don't know how I'm going to do this, but my dream <laughs> would be to have this going around the fireplace, like how amazing with that look around the fireplace. So I'm going to first of all lie the garland out and check that it is the right size and I also need to figure out if I want to order another of these garlands for the staircase. Definitely want to have a fabulous garland on the stairs this year but first I need to make myself another cinnamon latte. Okay, I'm back and I'm armed with a nutmeg latte. I forgot I ran out of ground cinnamon. So I've made a nutmeg and a vanilla latte. That is so good. <laughs> I've brought the dogs in here as well because they're starting to get a little bit lonely. Okay, so next task is, as I mentioned, the garland. But I just also wanted to um, just sit down and ask you if you have any specific festive video requests obviously bearing in mind that here in the uk we are in lockdown at least until i say at least hopefully only until the 2nd of december um so any at home festive video requests please let me know because let's just say i've got the time <laughs> i've got the time to do it and i am uploading every single day except for mondays so let me know what you would like to see of course there will be more decoration videos because I think after doing this garland that is going to be me pooped for the day unless this turns out to be a turbo coffee. We shall see. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think that the garland is the right size, which is a little bit of hang either way. Um, obviously, we can't go drilling anything into the lovely wooden walls or into the stone, but so many of you recommended these. They are command strips. It says you have to prep the area with rubbing alcohol. I definitely don't have any of that, so it may be a case that I have to order something on Amazon and complete this tomorrow. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use these because I'm impatient and I wanna do it tonight. These are some Wonder Wipes. Um, <laughs> I just found them in the cleaning cupboard, so hopefully this will do the trick. Sadly, it is not working. The command strips are just coming off in my hand. They're clearly just not sticking to the stone. So I'm gonna to have to go on Amazon, order the rubbing alcohol, and this is gonna to have to be a case of, here's one I did earlier, I'm gonna to have to show you this in tomorrow's video. So I'm conscious that this one is probably already getting quite long, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Sorry to end it on a bit of a downer, but we will have a Christmas decorating video part two coming very soon but darlings please um do let me know your festive video requests down in the comment section below and dickie and i will try our very best to work our way through them thank you so much for watching today's vlog i will see you tomorrow in the next one bye